breakfast, like, like I had like the French toast with like the maple syrup in it. That's oh, like there's a sausage and gravy one. Yeah, dude. Yes, dude. Yeah, that little, that it's was a little. It's got oh. a waffle or a pancake in it, depending on which fucking yeah. herb, like version it is. And then you got the little bag of syrup. It's fucking so shitty, but it's so nice when you haven't had that shit. Dude, no, I'm telling you, like. <laughs> Shia fucking like you don't understand when you haven't smelled like a woman in like months like you bro, fucking like maple syrup bro one. that sweet smell dude maple syrup <gasps> when you got like <laughs> sand in your mouth what the fuck? I'm ta- we're talking Sire, military dude Sia, come here you'll you'll, you'll understand <laughs> if you stop being stubborn get your ass over here hey, yo chill no we're no, talking I'm about just you, being dude. in the military and like these little things like trigger oh, okay. your brain to do stuff that makes no fucking sense. Like he yes. was talking about, like, yes. like because I was in an all male battalion for like the longest time. Yes. I uh, hadn't same. even come across no, the female. I get it. I get it. And you smell something sweet like maple syrup from like the little MRE package. You smell that like, <gasps> oh, God. oh, that's just like your natural monkey male brain turning on yes. a button, and you're yes. like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> But like literally, like nah, dude. I remember, like, like I was legit thinking, like, at that time, I was like, because we were in the defense for like so long, and like, I was like, dude, imagine being a female, and then just like putting like moisturizer on like one hand, right, and then God fucking it, wearing dude. a glove over it, going around like just giving hand jobs for like hundred bucks a pop. <laughs> You'd be a fucking millionaire, bro. You know. And it's like zero effort on your behalf. I mean, I saw somebody fucking like it was literally for a bag of Skittles, like uh, like a blowjob. Like I'm talking like three week field dick, no shower. You know, Jesus Christ, bro. Yes. <laughs> like um, desperate times. When I went to basic training, uh, like that was my because I had a girlfriend back home. But as soon as I landed at reception, she's like. I don't think I could do this. I'm like, okay, bitch, fuck up, whatever. Get out of here, McKay. Whatever. I'm your dad's still my attorney, Adios. bitch. Your dad is still my attorney. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I went to basic, and we had no females or whatever, so I had like no female contact. Yeah, we weren't like, cross trained at all. What, like, what, three and a half months, whatever, twelve weeks, whatever the fuck they made us do. And yeah. then I went to AIT, and then like, that's when they cross trained us. And I had yeah. a girlfriend in advanced training. And like that was like the best thing ever because they're like she was super like traditional, right? Like old school Christian kind of chick. But it's when you can make th- when you can like get with them in the middle of the night, right after they're done praying, like you know you've won. Oh god. Dude, no, the like, Christian you know, girls are the fucking horniest, honestly, dude. I'm telling I know, you. dude. The rep- dude, the repression is insane. It's fucking ridiculous. Yes. They just but, lash out, man. Yeah, and so technically, you're not supposed to uh, quote unquote fornicate in any training environment, but bro. fornicate. No, they, that's what they're. That's that's what our fucking uh, our platoon sergeants used to say all the time. No fornication in the barracks, bro. Who's gonna stop me? You're gonna walk Do in and stop add me? or subtract from the population. <laughs> I mean, my KD's one zero, so. <laughs> Ain't going negative, Sorry, buddy. Technically. That that's what helps me out is you know making jokes about it like that. That's good. It's good therapy. It's, Everything's yeah, a fucking joke it's, in life. It's, it's good for the soul. Yeah, but no, it was a chick named Sarah, and it's funny because I I actually ended up getting recycled in AIT because I didn't take the final written test, and the week I was supposed to, I was hospitalized for severe pneumonia so i basically had to wait for the next class to show up sounds like the military train with them except i didn't actually have to do the training because i passed all the practical shit i was literally doing nothing except for directing all the new guys for like a month like no no, like two months marine corps they would have had your stupid the legit they would have had your fucking ass fucking day one back to day one repeat the entire thing do all the training For us, it's if you if like using I caused no trouble. There was another dude that recycled with me because he had like a hemorrhoid explode or something. I don't fucking know. Hell yeah, dude. He had a hemorrhoid, he had a hemorrhoid explode, explode, but this kid, 
this kid was a fucking troublemaker. Like, he always stole shit. He was always stashing shit. I just didn't care. I just wanted to finish my training and get the fuck out. I didn't do anything. I, mean, I didn't talk to you anybody. guys allowed to use your phones at all? Like, during that? Like, your schoolhouse and uh, shit? Your last two days before you graduate. That's it. Yeah. I, don't, yeah, I no, think it's, it's changed because, like, I've been seeing, like, a lot of dudes that I went to, like, high school with. Because when did you join? You are 24, right, you said? Yeah, I joined in two, uh, early 2016. Yeah, so you went right out of high school? See, like, I waited, like, a year and a half. So, like, I graduated. I was supposed to. I ended up dropping out of high school. But, like, I was supposed to graduate, like, 2016. And um, so, like, when I was, like, set to go, like, out of high school. But then, like, once I dropped out, my recruiter was like, go fuck yourself. So then, like, I waited, like, a year and a half until we got, like, a bigger budget. And fucking, then they were like, yeah, it's okay. So then, so that's why. I mean, I'm 23, so I'm only a year younger. But fucking, you're a sergeant. Ooh, 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 ooh. Fucking, was, must be nice being was. in the army. Yeah, was. was. <laughs> Raw sarge. 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 <laughs> the funny thing. One of the biggest reasons why I even got that is because at the same time that I had the points to be even become a sergeant and I had to go to the board was after my first deployment because a sergeant in my, uh, what was it? It was, so, I, I don't know if you guys have it, but it's the unit of measurement for two platoons. Not a company, because a company for us is like, you know, four platoons, six it's, platoons, etc. It's et like three or four, yeah. Yeah, Yeah, but there we had this in, in, um, in distro because we were supply chain guys like we basically like infantry we're the guys that take all their ammo and food to them and shit in the middle of whatever the yeah, fuck yeah. they're in that's what we did um one of our sergeants from the other platoon that we were working with so th it's just just two platoons working together i don't know what the fuck you call it because it's so uncommon even in the army but for distro um one of the other sergeants from the other platoons actually died so his slot opened up for me Oh hell so, yeah! And I just happened to be—I happened to be the only senior specialist at the time, so I was just like, "I don't want to be a sergeant." I'll it's never... when we got—it's when we got back to the states that I became a sergeant. Yeah. So like, you didn't want that position. Like... No, no, no one wants no. to be a sergeant. Nobody wants to unless no. they got bullied in high school. Oh. Yeah, legit, dude. I'm telling you, unless you're trying to like go up and be like a sergeant major and retire and shit, and you're like super motivated. Yeah. Uh, motivated, I mean, but shit, like you could, you could, you could do that and be an E seven and just retire at twenty. Like, <laughs> just stop at E seven. Yeah, you could have fucking just honor and not be a dickhead. But like, yeah, <laughs> like, I don't know. Some guys are weird as shit. But like, what the fuck was I saying? I don't even fucking remember. I don't know. Fuck you. That's what I was saying. <laughs> fucking E five. Yeah, fuck you too, pal. Fuck yeah, you. Fucking E three, dude. Ass. Bro, the fucking I, I Geneva you, Convention I Code One, in. baby. I hope you fall into a fucking portajon in the middle of fucking desert. Nah, I'll pass out in it from jerking off too much, aren't? <laughs>